What's going on people? SS Harvey here, bringing you a tutorial on how to use Twixter in After Effects. Twixter allows you to slow motion any video file, but it's most advantageous, that's a big word, with HD clips. So for for example, if you have a HD PVR and you're recording gameplay and you want to slow motion a certain part of it for a montage or whatever you can use Twixter and do that really clearly and there's no ghosting behind the slow motion you won't see any blur and it's easy to do as well so let's get started I'm going to use a clip from Modern Warfare 2 that my friend SS Snipes recorded for me thanks and yeah so let's just get started what you want to do first is import the file you click on file import file and I am going to use an AK47 clip just click on uh, highlight it obviously click it open it that's in the easy enough just ignore this message it's gonna keep popping up but I'll fix it in a minute okay what you want to do now is go into composition new composition and rename the composition I'm gonna call it Twix test and what you want to do is make sure your widths on 1280 and your heights on 720 and make sure that that box is ticked so it locks in the aspect ratio make sure your pixel aspect ratio is on square pixels should be at the top and your frame rates on if it's a recording from a HD PVR then use this frame rate 5994 uh, resolution of full start time recorder leave that as zero and your dura uh, duration of the timeline here my clips 11 se 11 seconds and 57 milliseconds long you'd want to do it about let's say about five six seconds more than that clip so I'm going to do mine about 17 because it's needed 12 seconds so 17 seconds actually might as well do 18 you can change the composition after click OK and your composition has just been created now what you want to do is get your clip that you imported and drag that onto your composition so basically click on it drag it and place it on top of the composition just like that and this message is really annoying sorry um, let me just me uh, edit that message that keeps popping up Doo -doo. Okay. I'm just gonna split the layer okay ignore what I just did now what you want to do is you see these black lines on the edges you don't want that to be in your clip so all you have to do is simple just hold onto that box there and cover the black boxes the black lines just like that okay there's a bit there there you go and it fills up the whole page now what you want to do is click on this button over here enables the frame blending for all layers what that is basically it just allows you to make even clearer slow motion so just make sure that it's clicked there should be a black grayish box around it then you want to click on uh, doo -doo -doo make sure you click on your composition after you click that click onto your composition anywhere so the yellow outlines highlighting the composition then you want to go into layer frame blending and click on pixel motion okay so layer frame blending pixel motion just tick that now what we want to do is get the twixter now that's the twixter there just if you can't find it there if you if you can't find this panel over here it should be just there it should be there or somewhere around here in the effects panel so I've got mine over there just look for a twixter now what you want to do is double click it do 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 okay what you want to do is make sure you see this one here the input frame rate change that to 59 
94 to what you made your composition as and just click enter and that's all you need to do on that after you double click Twixter click on this box here close the, uh, close the panel you won't need that no more now what you want to do is click on this box here that little arrows point towards the right uh, go on to effects is it effects no it's no yeah there okay uh, click on effects twixter then go into your output control sorry about that got confused then click on output control and look for the speed when you find your speed what you want to do is click on that stopwatch make sure that your make sure that your timelines all the way to the back like at the beginning of the video then you want to click on the speed stopwatch here click on that and now you're going to drag the timeline to where you want your clip to start slowing down so let me just look for mine okay i'm going to do it the reloading part just got to find it do, do, do. Yeah, about yeah, about there. Now what you want to do is you want to add another keyframe, just that diamond here, and move about. Go into your preview tab, and move about three or four frames forward, and click after you, after you clicked three or four frames forward. Go into your speed the speed stopwatch thing, and where it says the hundred just click it once put in about three anything between three and five click it and just press enter after you put in the three now what you want to do is see how the clip cuts out here where, where does it cut out there it cut it cuts out there because the timelines getting shorter that's why we made the composition longer now after you've done that then after you've done all them three keyframes and you got them at the bottom what you want to do is click on the timeline go on to layer time enable time remapping and just drag the clip drag the clip out about let's say there okay and just go wherever you want the slow motion to end again make it a bit longer you might as well stretch out to the f to eighteen. Yeah, let's just say we want it to stop there. So, I want my slow motion to stop there. Now, what you have to do is all you have to do is click on the keyframe button again, because that's where I wanted to finish. And just wait for it to load, and just click one or two free keyframes again. Just move about four or five doesn't matter and click on the three the one that you edited it to three and put it back to a hundred and there you go that's basically how to make the Twixter effect so let me just go over it again with you guys basically that's the beginning of the clip then you get the warning sign which I get for some reason really annoying okay so all of this from this keyframe to that keyframe nothing's happening but them two keyframes there that's where the slow motion starts now if I go through it slowly you'll see I can't render it out because it takes long to render and uh, you can see the slow motion but the blur won't be there and it'll be really clear as well and where you finish your keyframes right there that's where it's gonna finish so yeah, simple how to do the Twixter effect. If you've got any questions, let me know. I will help you as soon as possible. And yeah, thanks for watching my video. And just comment, rate, subscribe. See ya.